In this short video, I want to talk a little bit about pH in an aquaponic system. Now, <laughs> pH can be a bit of a problem for many in aquaponic systems and it's in many cases because it's not understood correctly. Now your pH scale is from 0 to 14 and as we know uh, it is neutral at about 7, a pH of 7. Our fish will like a pH of a little bit higher up so 8, 8.2 will not be a problem, problem for most of our fish. Uh, also our bacteria is quite happy with that, our nitrifying bacteria, so a little bit higher pH is not a problem for them. The thing is, if you go to a pH of about 8, uh, then your plants will struggle to take up the necessary nutrients. Certain nutrients will be locked and will not the plants will not be able to take them up. Plants on the other side like a pH of below 7. So six, a, a pH of 6 or so is 100% correct for most of the plants, um, but uh, then a little bit low maybe for some of your fish species. So uh, we're trying to get a pH of around 7. So then the plants is happy on the one side and the fish and the bacteria will also be happy with a pH of that. Now in many cases you'll find that your pH will be high and you will try to lower that pH. Now there's different things that can be used to do that but before I get to those solutions I just want to uh, state this that pH, the natural pH in an aquaponic systems will initially be maybe a little bit high but over time it will come down. And the reason for that is because your nitrification process, a byproduct of that, of that nitrifying bacteria is an uh, acid that will over time naturally lower your pH. If your system is mature, mature and uh, the pH still is uh, very high, then there could be other problems. And one of the main sub suspects then would be your grow media. So it doesn't matter what type of grow media you use, but you must test it if it's inert, um, if it's not going to change your pH or take your pH up. So, uh, and there's a very easy test to do that, uh, the vinegar test that I will do in a different video. But you just put them in vinegar and you see if there's bubbles coming from them. So, whenever you consider grow media, please, before you fill all your uh, flood and drain buckets with grow media that in the end must be replaced, just do that test and make sure that your media itself is not going to higher your pH over time. Um, typically, typically types of limestone and things in your grow media will take your pH up to above 8 and that could be very problematic for you and, and there's absolutely no way that you can correct that. You can add acids as much as you like the pH will go down, but it will almost immediately start to rise again. So your grow media is one of the most important things that you must consider uh, in an aquaponic system. Make sure that it's pH neutral, that it's not going to influence your pH. Now, pH can be brought down with acids. And there's different types of acids that can be used. Some use citric acid, but uh, it's not advisable because it's antibacterial and will harm the bacteria in your system. Uh, some people use vinegar. Vinegar is a very uh, weak acid and will definitely not work over time. You will rather have pickled fish than uh, a, a correct pH. Phosphoric foric acid is used um, with success, so that's one of the acids that you can uh, use. I'm not recommending acids in your system, 
because uh, there's normally a other problem in it. Other thing that can be a problem for you is your replacement water. If the KH value of that replacement water is too high, um, it can also uh, make sure that your pH is buffered higher up. So um, the, the main thing for your for good pH in a system would be to check your grow media and to wait till your system is mature and the pH is naturally coming down. What will actually happen is in the end you will have to raise the pH a little bit and that is, uh, that is quite easy to do so you can just raise your pH then to the desired level. So in a mature system where the bacteria is really working that acids that's produced will lower the pH over time. So in many cases the pH problem can just be weighted out if there's no problem with your grow media in your system. I hope you enjoyed this video. On the screen right now you may see other videos that you can also uh, have a look at that may also help you in your journey. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video or if you found any value, please hit the like and the subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.